my name is Carlo Gagliotto. And I'm a PhD student in uh, telecommunication engineering. Imagine you are at Maracanã in Brazil for a, for a World Cup and you want to make a call during a, a football match. So you, you already know that your um, phone call will take ages uh, to go through. So let's have, let's, uh, have a look at what is happening. As you can see in that picture, uh, mobile networks are divided in, in different areas which we call cells, and every cell is served by a station. So all the people using the mobile in, within the same cell will connect to the same station, meaning that your phone will have to queue and to wait to be served. So to what we have to do is to increase the number of serving stations, so we increase the number of cells and we make uh, them smaller. So obviously in a cell, in a small cell, there will be fewer people sharing the same station, meaning shorter queue for your phone and a faster service for you. So this is how next generation uh, mobile network will be structured. Unfortunately, there is a problem related with increasing the number of serving stations in, uh, in the network, which is interference. You can think of serving stations as people talking inside a room. The more people talking at the same time, the louder and the noisier the room. So, the same uh, thing happens in uh, mobile networks. When you have so many serving stations and they are so close to each other, they will generate interference and your call drops. This is actually the problem I'm focusing on in my research. I study how the interference changes depending on the environment, on the distance between the devices, and I try to quantify the effect of this interference on your phone connection. Also, my goal is to build a model for interference to help engineers study and to design future networks to predict their cost and to predict the performance. So just to give you an example, I'm using this model to predict the connection speed and the power consumption of future networks, which are, will be made of, of course of small but many cells. So it turns out that, first of all, future networks will be much faster than current uh, network. We are talking about 100, even times, uh, 100, 1,000 times faster. And also, we will need much less electrical and magnetic power than current networks. The final goal of my research will be then to investigate how small a cell can be, how uh, many serving stations we can place within a, uh, a network. In fact, although we know that making cells smaller is beneficial to the network, we still don't know how small uh, this uh, site can be. So all this work basically is just to make sure that in five, four years time, when you go to Russia for next World Cup, no matter how many people you're surrounded by, you will be always able to use your phone. Thank you very much.